this stuff though. Hey everyone, it's Diabetic Danica and today I'm going to give you an update on my Dexcom CGM stickiness um, trials. I don't know. I've been trying to get the Dexcom to stick better. October, November, I asked you for suggestions on ways to get my Dexcom sensor thingy to stick better. This thing. And you gave me a lot of suggestions, but the number one most suggested, I literally kept a tally of all of them, was Skin Tap. And this bottle looks really gross right now. But um, yeah, Skin Tap liquid adhesive. Um, it comes in a bottle form or it also can come in little wipes. And this by far was the most requested or most suggested thing for me to try. So I kind of hesitated showing it on camera just because I feel bad because, spoiler, it didn't work for me. But I do want you to know what I'm talking about. So nothing bad on this company. I think that it works really well for a lot of people, but just for me in particular, it didn't really work. So I literally just spilled it on myself because this cap though, um, and it is so sticky. So don't get me wrong, it definitely gets Sticky. You're probably like, Danica, you didn't like it, but it's almost gone, look. Yeah, it's almost gone because I spilled it. I spilled this super sticky stuff all over my room. Not all over my room, but it was on my um, nightstand and it fell off and it was, yeah, not good. Anyway, but the thing that didn't work for me is my skin just doesn't like it. So. I have pretty sensitive skin, I would say overall. I grew up having eczema, um, it can become irritated, and I just found that when I would wear the skin tap with my Dexcom sensor, I would have a lot of skin breakdown, and it wasn't like even so much like a rash, like it wasn't like bumps on my skin. It was actually places where the skin had worn down and it was bleeding, and there were just like little dots of that under my transmitter. It was really odd, it was a little painful, and obviously not good for my skin. So I think just with this like liquid adhesive, it formed this barrier where my skin couldn't breathe and it couldn't, you know, probably move as well under the adhesive and it just had a lot of issues with that. So I don't know, I have noticed my skin being more sensitive anyway with the Dexcom sensors now, like the adhesive they use, because I'm guessing they changed it just because it doesn't stick as long as it used to, and my skin is having trouble with just those. Like the whole circle underneath my Dexcom now will turn bright red and it'll be super itchy after I take it off, and that didn't used to happen to me. <laughs> so it could just be my skin, I don't know. But then when I would use the skin tack, it would not only be super red and itchy, but it would have the skin breakdown right under where the transmitter sits, and so there'd be little spots of just bleeding and where the skin had broken. Ugh. I'm getting this all over me. And then even not related to my skin not loving it, um, just its actual functionality, I didn't like how it made the tape super stiff, if that makes sense. So this part, the tape, this is the transmitter by the way that I was referring to, so under this part is where it would bleed, and then this is just like the whole circle. But the tape would get super stiff, and I don't know if I was just putting too much of this on, or if I wasn't waiting long enough for it to dry before I put it on my skin. I don't know, but the tape usually is super flexible and soft and it's like cloth. I just feel like I'm showing you my armpit, but it's this thing. Um, so it's usually super soft and flexible, but with this, it would just, when it dried, it would just become stiff. So although it was sticky, it was stiff and so it wasn't moving with my body well and so it would still cause the adhesive to come up like it was before. So again, that's not super helpful. So I don't know why I had so much trouble with the skin tack because clearly a lot of you just love it and it works wonders for you. But I gave it a shot and I'm not going to stick with it. So thank you so much for suggesting it still. Um, I know Tegaderm is an option. They're just super expensive and I don't know if it's worth it or not. But then you can buy less sensors, so maybe it is worth it. I don't know. But yeah, I will also link that video where I talk about the different options I was thinking of. And you can see all the comments on that video of you guys suggesting awesome things for me to try. And hopefully I'll find something that works the best for me. Oh, I've also heard of these things called Griff Grips where they're like, super super strong medical tapey things and they come in like different patterns and those look pretty cool but i haven't tried those so if you have let me know in the comments below so that is my update for you on skin tack if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to leave a comment down below on your experience either with skin tack or with other methods to 
keep that Dexcom on that skin. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!